All right, here's a review for Powertex Switch Mode Smart Charger. It's actually a pretty handy little charger. Uh, it's got some pluses and minuses to it, so we're going to go through it. Pretty compact package. It, compl it uh, claims to be waterproof. I don't know how important that is when charging batteries. I guess if you're charging a battery in the rain, maybe. I don't know. I've been seeing a lot more like waterproof battery chargers, I don't know why, but that seems to be a new thing. Anyways, uh, basically the this charger will charge a 6 volt battery at uh, 8 tenths of an amp, and it will also charge 12 volt batteries at either 8 tenths of an amp or 3.8 amps. So this thing seems like it's kind of confusing, some of the people have done reviews online about it don't really seem to understand how to uh, switch through the different modes so I'm going to try to go through that it's kinda slightly confusing not really but we'll go through it uh, the clamps on here are pretty decent kinda your standard clamp setup you know looks like it'll get on a side terminal battery fairly easily but uh, that's pretty much all you get you're only getting those clamps there's no uh, 12 volt power outlet or uh, like the eye loops to just kind of quick connect onto a battery for maintaining and this battery does do a maintenance mode you know it'll it'll float out over 13 volts so the one thing though with this thing is it will spark it does have reverse polarity protection but for whatever reason when you hook up the leads it wants a spark so keep that in mind that could be a problem all right so let me hook this up and show you how it works all right so i've got the positive lead connected I'm about to connect the negative i just want to show you how about this thing really likes to spark sometimes. Alright, so I'm about to plug this in. I got it hooked up to the battery. Um, it does a few different displays. And what's cool about this one is it does show you like the real-time voltage and amperage. And it's even got like a little battery indicator that kind of shows you how charged or discharged battery is, which I think makes this pretty cool because it's giving you a lot of feedback information. So I plug this in, like basically this button here is how you're going to cycle through what you want to do, which it seems like you have to do that pretty much immediately after plugging it in. And I think that's where a lot of people get confused because it seems like once you plug it in and it starts charging, it doesn't want to switch modes on you. So plug it in. Okay. Shows you the voltage. Now I can flip through, you see a little, you got the motorcycle, the car, and the snowflake. So like the motorcycle is 8 tenths of an amp, the car is going to go 3.8, and this snowflake is also 3.8. So, I don't know, the whole snowflake thing is kind of like maybe for an AGM battery or if you're charging in the winter time, I don't know if it changes the charging algorithm. But what I do like about this display is I'm getting real time voltage. And this little indicator is really nice too because it's just going to help you visually identify like where you're at as far as charging this battery goes. So the other thing that's nice is, you know, the 8 tenths, that's kind of cool. I mean, it's a it's pretty low amperage charge, but sometimes that's what you want to do. You know, if I got a battery that I'm charging at work and I'm going home for the day and I just want to leave this thing sit on a vehicle overnight, that's definitely the mode I'm going to put it on. I think it's a lot safer than leaving it on like 3.8. So I kind of favor that if I'm not going to be there to babysit it. But the 3.8, that's pretty powerful too. I mean, you're almost getting 4 amps. So, you know, this charger is pretty handy in the shop during the day too. It's like I got 4 amps. I can charge a battery up decently quickly. And probably the best thing about it is definitely this display. I mean, especially for like, you know, if you're more of a novice when it comes to charging batteries, that's great because it's just, I mean, everyone can understand a picture of a battery with little marks in it to know whether it's full or empty. So probably the only drawback to this thing is how much it likes to spark when you hook it up. But I mean, you pretty much have to be careful about that with any battery charger. So, I mean, once you learn how to work around that and just be safe about it, it's still a pretty good product. And I've had really good luck with this thing. I mean, I definitely put it through its paces at the shop. You can see it's pretty dirty. It's got some body shop muck on it. 
but yeah, I mean, pretty handy charger. Uh, found this on Amazon. I can't remember what I paid for it. I, it wasn't too outrageous, if I remember correctly. But uh, yeah, I mean, probably the only other thing that is a little bit of a down, downside is those clamps. You know, you're not you're not getting a 12 volt accessory, but I mean, some people don't really need that, and uh, you know, you can kind of work around it if you know what you're doing. So, as far as like being a battery maintainer, I would say that's kind of the only drawback to it is the fact that you're not going to have that 12 volt power and uh, the 12 volt outlet accessory that will plug into like a cigarette lighter and you're not getting the eye loops, but I mean, you could actually wire up your own little quick connects if you wanted to for these to clamp onto if it's on, you know, motorcycle, snowmobile or whatever. So, I mean, it's definitely something you could work around if you wanted to. But yeah, I like it. It's a good product. Haven't had any problems with it. So, yeah, definitely awesome display. It's probably what really sets this thing apart. You know, getting that kind of real-time information is pretty important. And then, like I said, even someone who's kind of a novice with trying to charge a battery, I think that makes it pretty easy. So... I mean, if you're going to pick this up, go through the instructions, kind of play around with it, and uh, I think it'll work out pretty well for most people. So yeah, if you've got any questions or comments, leave them below, let me know.